Imagine a horse that dominated the track, the people, and the limelight. Imagine a horse that was world renowned. Imagine a horse that had the, si the heart the size of a football and weighed 6.2 kilograms. Imagine a horse that had a movie made after him. This horse was Farlap. A chestnut gelding Farlap was foaled on, on 4th of October 1926 in Seadown near Tamaru in the South Island of New Zealand. He was born from a Melbourne Cup winner known as Night March. Farlap was a brother to seven other horses known as Fortune's Wheel, Knee Lap, Night Guard, All Clear, Friday Night, Tear Roar and Farris, none of which won a principal stakes race. Sydney trainer Harry Telford persuaded the American business David J. Davis to buy the Colt at auction based on his pedigree. Telford's brother Hugh, who lived in New Zealand, was asking to bid up $190 at the 1929 Trenton Yearling Stakes. When the horse was obtained for a mere $160, he thought it was a great bargain until the Colt arrived in Australia. The horse was gangly, his face was covered with warts, and he had an awkward gait. Davis was furious when he saw the colt as well, and refused to pay to train the horse. Telford had not been particularly successful as a trainer, and Davis was one of the few remaining owners. To, re to replace David, he agreed to train the horse for nothing, in exchange for two-thirds share of any winnings. Telford leased the horse for three years, and was eventually sold joint ownership by Davis. Although standing or winning racehorses as a stud could be quite ludicrous, Telford gelded Farlap, hoping the colt would concentrate on his racing. Farlap's racing career. Farlap finished last in the first race and did not place in his next three races. He won his first race on April 27, 1929, the Maiden Juvenile Handicap at Rosewood, ridden by Jack Baker of Armadale, a 17-year-old apprentice. He didn't race for several months, but when he entered in a series of races in which he moved up class. Farlap took second in the Chelmford Stakes at Randwick on 14th of September 1929 and the racing community started treating him with respect. As his achievements grew, there was some who tried Farlap's death. There are many theories about the death of Farlap. Firstly, earlier on the date of April the 5th, 1932, the strapper for Farlap in his North American visit, Tommy Woodcock was his name, and he found Farlap in severe pain and having a high temperature on the day. Within a few hours, Farlap died. Secondly, many speculations were ensued, ensued when a necroscopy revealed that the horse's stomach and intestines were inflamed. Many believed that the horse had been deliberately poisoned by gangsters in America. Lastly, another theory was ensued that it was accidentally poisoning from the lead insecticide. It was not until the late 1980s that the infection could be formally identified. Farlap inspired Australia at the time when a country was reeling from the effects of the Great Depression and his victories brought a sense of hope. Farlap's deaths were significant to Australia because he died in such a tragic manner where Australia was beginning to recover from the Great Depression.